Hi, it's Alaska Granny. Whenever you get a break in the weather is a good time to start working on your outdoor chores. One of the things you might want to have in your garden and household maintenance supplies are one gallon multi-purpose sprayers. And it's a good thing to have two. One you might want to use for say fertilizer or something like that that you would want to help your garden and one you may want for chemicals for things like weeding or bug killing and that would be poison and you would never want to mix up the two. So it's good to have one that's for the plus of a garden and the other that's for the negative of the garden and then you should label them so you know which one is for fertilizer and which one would be for poison. So I'm going to show you the HDX one gallon multi-purpose sprayer and how you assemble it because it's not difficult but it does have several steps. So the first thing you want to do is take all of the parts out of the box and make sure that you find the directions. So you want to lay it all out so that you know you have all the parts. Refer to your directions and uh, if everything is included then you're ready to go and I'll show you how to do it. I've laid out and made sure I have all of my pieces so the first thing you do is take the pink siphon hose and you attach it to the sprayer right here. This is going to go into this red nozzle so you just stick it in a ways, make sure it's secure and then you go to the hole here and you insert it and you have to wiggle it down a little bit because inside it's going to go all the way to the bottom and then it also needs to be able to loop around a little bit so that it um, gets every last drop out of it. Then it has this cap that's already on the hose and you screw this down tight. And it's as easy as that. Now you want to control the hose flow control to the other end of the hose. And you can see that this has a hole on here and there's another little cap so you want to make sure that cap is on the hose. Then you want to stick the hose up firmly over the end of this. You might have to twist it a little bit to get it as close to you as you can to the ribbed part. Then you want to take this and simply screw it down. So you want to take the wand and see how it also has a cap and you just want to put this right in here and screw this down. And there you go. You have the whole entire hose assembly put together. I filled it partway with water. Now you take the big handle and you put it down in here and you just screw it down. And then this is how it works. You loosen the handle and you pump it up. And that puts the pressure in it. And one of the things you need to make sure is that this little valve is closed because that will release the pressure. So then you pump it up and then you just hook the handle down. While you're pumping it, if you hear any moisture escape or air escaping, be sure you tighten up your connectors to make sure they're tight. Then. You hold down the handle and it comes out of the tip. Then the tip is adjustable so you can make it wider or smaller spray according to how big of a surface you want to spray. Push this down 
and it sprays. There's also a little spot right here that when you're spraying it, if you don't want to hold it down continuously, you push this forward and it stays on and it's continuing to spray without having to hold it down. And then you just pull it back and it'll release. Simple. Then when you're done, you would release this valve and it released the pressure and then you unscrew this and dump out any remaining chemicals that you have. Don't store it with chemicals in it. Put it away clean. And then it'll continue to last for you. These are the greatest. Another feature is on the handle. You can simply snap in the wand and it holds it securely when you put it away. So look for the HD one gallon multi-purpose sprayer for your home and garden needs. And please subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel. Have a wonderful day.